Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and thine often infirmities. Tomorrow's drink from yesterday's with jigger, beaker, and flask. The true stories behind your next drink. From the Gentleman's Companion. Being an exotic drinking book or Around the World with Jigger, Beaker, and Flask by Charles H. Baker, Jr. Welcome. Hey, hello. Please join us here on the balcony of our lovely room here on the 8th floor of the King David Hotel in the heart of Christianity's own city, Jerusalem. As you can hear in the background, there is uh, activity happening. It is not the greatest of times for um, festivities. It's murder out Literally there. is murder. Riots are in the streets. The British Tommies are running around chasing both Arab and Israeli. We barely made it back here on our own alive. Running, running, running. Through the streets. Sinus is pounding. We're very happy to be able to introduce to you the cure-all that we found today at the bar of this lovely hotel. Weber. This guy is a, is a mixologist, we like to call him. He remedied us rather quickly. Nothing, uh, takes away that uh, pressure of the day like this drink. It just completely makes you forget everything. Excellent title, excellent beverage. The Jerusalem's Between the Sheets. Okay, so we've got our ingredients here. It's all here. We're excited about it. We need equal parts mm -hmm. of the following four ingredients. Yeah. We've got gin. Gin. Here we go. Gin. We have Cointreau. Uh, we got uh, Cointreau. Cointreau. Yep. Cognac. Yes, Cognac. And you can use brandy too if you don't have cognac, you can use brandy, right? Absolutely, yeah, that will be a course. fine replacement. Yeah. And lovely lemon. Yep, lemons. Gotta have lemons. Mixing of these four ingredients in equal parts mm -hmm. into a shaker filled with cracked ice. Right, sorry, this is first. This is the shaker. Mm -hmm. And then we will shake that up until it's nice and frigid, pouring it into the classic Manhattan glass. Yeah. And why is this good? Why is the Manhattan glass good? The Manhattan glass is such a classic because it keeps the warmth of our hands away from the frigid character of the beverage. But it's still going to make you feel warm inside, right? Yes, sir. Because that's what I want. I'm thinking about the warmth good. right now. One equal part gin. Now, you can measure it out yourself. Uh, he's a very good eyeballer. Next, we'll go on to the brandy or Ooh, cognac, brandy. whatever you have in your cabinet. There it is. As you see, equal part. Equal part. See? We can dry it out. Reduce the sweetness a little bit by taking the Quattro down to about a half part. Right. Uh, if you want it sweeter, more Quattro. Pretty simple. Then, the lovely lemon, squeezed by hand. Just let it go through the fingers like that. And that that keeps way you the get seeds a out of that. We're going to strain this from these lovely cracked ice cubes into a Manhattan glass. So good. All that yeah, and see, now there you have it, Jerusalem. There you have it. There, this is the thing we're talking about. I'd call it welcome. That's a welcoming call. Here we go. We cheers to you. Thank you very much for yeah. joining us for this wonderful Between the Sheets. Oh. Oh my god, you could really slam that. Yes, you could. It's smooth and powerful, and that's the way we wanted it. And that's the idea with this one. If you're having a hard day, lift the mind. Between the sheets. Hopefully, we don't uh, you know, wet the sheets tonight because we're so wasted. And there's only one bed. <laughs> you better not wet the sheets. <laughs> hey, what happens in Jerusalem stays in Jerusalem, you know what I mean? Yo, you'll hear from us again. Thank you very much. Cheers to you. Thank you. Oh, look at Flask stepping over here. Look at this guy. 